So mount the M3 with the SMG in automatic mode. Do I wish it were a six speed? Probably. Is the SMG terrible? Not really. Is it bad enough that I want to take the car off the road and spend all the money and time to swap it? Nope. Definitely not while the SMG is still working. And while I've got a broken wrist, it's kind of nice having at least one car that's an automatic. I totally understand though, if you had one sports car and it was an M3 with an SMG, you might be disappointed. But at this point in the game, it kind of makes, well, it doesn't make sense. Like, don't go out of your way to buy the SMG, but it's not that bad. So one thing about the SMG that I've noticed is I think it takes the most mental attention out of any car I've driven because I don't have a tactile way. I can't just put my hand on the shifter and know what gear I'm in. So you either have to remember constantly or keep an eye on the display because being in the wrong gear in this car is when it starts getting really clunky and very unpleasant to drive. But it'll also let you downshift, you know, all the way to first gear when you probably shouldn't. And that's also a very unpleasant experience. See, like right now, fourth gear, 35 miles an hour, 2,000 RPM. I kind of want to downshift, but the way this car downshifts is not the smoothest experience. So instead, I just ride it out to the next light. Doing manual rev matching on this thing is really helpful to, to keep the, the downshift experience smooth when you're approaching traffic, traffic lights. If I'm just driving through town to Cars and Coffee, or like this is a highway cruiser car, this isn't my race car, this isn't my fast car, SMG's not that bad. What's wrong with this car either? Why it was going into neutral? I bought a replacement coolant temperature sensor. I read that could be a problem on top of the SMG pump. I was doing all kinds of research and then I read that the line from the SMG reservoir, fluid reservoir, on the intake manifold has, has a quick disconnect. And when the quick disconnect is not all the way seated, it doesn't allow fluid to flow to the SMG pump. And so to fix this car, all I had to do was reach up under the intake manifold to that quick disconnect and push it in a little bit. And it clicked, and then bubbles came from the reservoir fluid went into the SMG pump. It no longer overheated the fluid in the SMG pump. And the car has worked perfectly ever since. Easily the biggest automotive dub I've gotten in my car buying experience. And I almost walked away from this car over like a $300 difference 
between what the seller wanted to let it go for and what I wanted to pay just because I didn't know what was wrong with it and I didn't need all that money wrapped up in this car so now I think I'm just kind of enjoying it until I sell it Hopefully you can hear those clunks. That's definitely the downside to the SMG is the clutch engaging and disengaging has zero chill. It will just slam the clutch on and off. Especially coming up to a light. So you either need to be have your foot a little bit on the throttle so it engages the clutch or all the way off the throttle. Or so it disengages the clutch all the way off the throttle so it engages the clutch. Greatest engine ever made, arguably.